Yeah. As a school government, we just want to make the school a better place. So we were just our first alternative. Our first alternative was, in order to make it better, we need money. So something clever, something good for all of us. We were thinking that we should have a little store. Yes, is a young, enthusiastic student government. I am vice president. Today, we had a yes meeting with Jean Murph and a couple of our cabinet and yes students. We're trying to open up a little store, so the students are, it just pushes them to come to school. Like, we're just trying to open more doors for South Broken. All that money that we're making for yes, we're trying to use it for trips anything fun just even for the seniors anything anything that we might want to do my name is Carrie del Guayo I started September 2012 and I'm expecting to graduate June 2013 my counselor had told me when I first started I was gonna graduate December but I believe that I can do it and I'm gonna make the impossible possible the school I started at before I started South Brooklyn was a school that has 5,000 students. Students that are always cutting, smoking, like about 30 to 50 students in a classroom. People would be sitting in the, in, the, in the radiators, like that's how bad it was, and even on the floors. My aunt used to come here to South Brooklyn and she graduated and it was the best decision she did and she told my mom the same thing just to send me there. So I came, I came in with two credits and right now I have about 30 I believe and that was just within a year. My proudest moment was being on honor roll. That would just cry in class, like once I, once I got the paper and I was like, oh my God, this is actually mine. And that's what Carl told me, nobody can take that away from you. It's yours. People think that this school is for dropouts, for pregnant girls. This is for, for ghetto people. And they're all wrong. Everybody has their own story. It's so hard. There's so much I could talk about right now. My mom, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And she, the doctor said she was, she was fine. She, we caught it, we caught it fast. And they said that she was, she was gonna make it. It's just the chemotherapy and all that that happened. And it was, hard seeing her in the hospital bed and not being able to give her a hug or anything because she ended up, a, 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 a brain vessel popped in her head and she ended up being in a coma. And she was the closest person I had. When that happened, you know who who's there for you and you know who's, who's supporting you and you know who's there by your side all the time. And when my mom passed away, April 9th, South Brooklyn students, teachers, counselors came to my mom's wake. And that's when I knew that I was family. And that's when I knew that I was in the right place. It's the most hurtful thing I ever dealt with. Like, I never thought that that would happen. I thought she was gonna be here till I have my kids and all that. So that, that, that was the most heartbreaking thing I ever dealt with. I know she would be happy if she heard that I was doing so great in school and I was passing all my classes. That's what she always wanted. So it really, it really, she, she was such an inspire, inspiring person. I just want to be like her.